Today we get a story time of this Minecraft kid who spent tens of thousands of dollars on his parents' credit card getting better gaming gear, getting like in-game purchases so that he could become the best gaming Minecraft player of all time. Yeah, his parents eventually found out and uh, he got in a ton of trouble and it was pretty funny. So yeah, sit back, relax, leave a like on the video to claim your free nothing and let's get right into it. So we're gonna call the subscriber who sent in today's story, we're gonna call him Steve. And by by the way, if you want to send in the story, Discord and Instagram in the description, that's where you can send them. Anyways, right, so Steve was friends with this guy, and we're just going to call this guy the Minecraft Kid. And I have to say this every single time. Obviously, if you play Minecraft, I have nothing against you. I mean, dude, look at the gameplay in the background of this video, like... Bro, obviously, I enjoy a bit of Minecraft myself. But anyways, right, so, you know, Steve was friends with this kid, and we're just going to call him a Minecraft kid because he was super obsessed with, like, a lot of, like, mo Minecraft, like, multiplayer games, so, like, Bed Wars, Sky Wars, uh, any kind of game on Hypixel or any of those, like, Lunar or something, any of those, like, sites, or not sites, but servers. And basically, right, you know, this kid was getting more and more and more into it, and while Steve and his friends, because they kind of had a friend group, it was like Steve, the Minecraft kid, and a couple other guys. I don't think I'm going to end up giving them a name, but if I need to, I'll do that later on. Anyways, they all did enjoy Minecraft, and that was kind of the game that they played together. They would hop on after school and after they did all their homework. I mean, sometimes they wouldn't do their homework, but basically, after school, they'd hop on and like all play like Bed Wars 4s together. And after a while, they actually got pretty good. But the thing was, right, the Minecraft kid got much better than all of them or like any of them individually because they all got better because they played a lot after school but the minecraft kid would stay up to like three or four in the morning just grinding minecraft getting better at it doing like 1v1 duels and such this kid was putting in like crazy hours just to get better at minecraft right and you know his friends including steve were starting to realize that like oh the skill gap between us is getting pretty large like maybe this kid is like like, I don't know if he's going to want to play with us. Like, we're not, we're not keeping up. And, you know, anyways, as time goes on, right, you know, the Minecraft kid gets more and more and more obsessed and focused on actually doing well. And they actually, you know, started to see, like, his grades were slipping a little bit. Like, his, the teacher was handing back tests, and the teacher normally hands it face up, but will occasionally hand it back face down if, like, the teacher's trying to, like, protect your bad score. And no one, like, the Minecraft kid never really got it face down before. He never, like, aced the test. He was never, like, crazy good. But he started getting all of his assignments back face down he wasn't turning in the homework all that kind of stuff so his kids his friends were like all right this guy's getting in a little bit too deep but anyways right there was a long weekend coming up and they wanted to have a sleepover on one or maybe it's just a regular weekend i don't totally know but anyways the weekend was coming up that's all you need to know and they wanted to like hang out together and kind of have like be able to like you know sleep over together and they will, they're all going to bring their laptops, so they're still going to play Minecraft together, and they'll go to, like, they'll bring a bunch of desks into his room, or they'll go to the basement or something. Basically, so they can all play Minecraft together, but not just be on voice call on Discord or something. Speaking of Discord, I have a Discord server. I'd love it if you joined it. I hop in there every once in a while. It's in the description, so if you haven't already. But anyways, right, so this one day they were all, like, or this weekend, they were planning on all coming together and, like, hanging out and playing Minecraft together. But anyways, right so you know the week goes on and the days go by and eventually man it's saturday and it's a pretty exciting day because you know steve is pretty excited to go over with his friends to the minecraft kids house and play a lot of minecraft with them because bro that was just like that's just what they did they had a good time eventually right the time comes around and steve steve's mom you know you know drives him over, Steve has his sleeping bag, his, you know, his kit with his toothbrush in it, and he also brings his backpack, which has, you know, his gaming laptop, which I think is, like, I don't know, some Windows something, a mouse, a mouse pad, uh, I think he just used the built-in keyboard, and, you know, he was pretty excited, like, he was kind of hyped, this was going to be a cool night. So anyways, right, when Steve gets to the Minecraft kid's house, you know, he's greeted by the Minecraft Minecraft kid's mom, sorry. He's greeted by the Minecraft kid's mom. She's like, oh, you know, the Minecraft kid, 
you know, said his actual name, is so excited for you to be here. If you want to go upstairs, they're actually starting to set up right now. So, you know, yeah, Steve goes up and he goes up there and the Minecraft kid and all of his friends are really like, they're taking out their laptops, they're moving desks around to make a mega desk office reference for anyone who got that. And uh, yeah, they were, you know, Steve got up there and it was pretty hype. I'm not going to lie. Like, if any of my friends wanted to do that, like, I know I'm 19, but that still sounds pretty hype, I'm gonna be honest. But anyways, right, so, you know, they set up the desks and everything, and all of a sudden, right, you know, Steve is looking around, and he sees the Minecraft kid, he pulls out his computer to put it on a desk, and it's not like a laptop, bro. It's a desktop, and it's a crazy desktop. Personally, I don't know a lot about computers, so I might say some stuff that isn't, like, factually correct. But, dude, he pulled out, like, a desktop computer that was probably, like, four to five grand. And especially when he started telling them the specs, it was definitely four to five grand. Just by, like, because, like, the kid who, like, Steve, the subscriber, knows my, like, knows computers better than me. This computer was definitely in the range of four to five thousand dollars if you were to buy it. Uh, maybe if you were to put it together yourself, it'd be like three to four instead of four to five. But either way, it was a lot of big bucks that went into this. And he also took out his keyboard, which is probably like the most expensive keyboard you can get. It was like, I don't know, probably like three, four hundred dollars. He got like a very expensive wireless mouse as well, which is like, I don't know if any like people who play games actually use wireless mouses, but whatever, bro. He like took out all that stuff. And Steve was just like looking at it and ah, oh, like, bro, when did you get this? He's like, I got it recently. And, you know, Steve is like, bro, how did you afford any of this? Because look, these guys were, I think, in like sixth or seventh grade. So they weren't like, they didn't have a lot of disposable income. I think Steve had like $25 in his bank account from doing some lawn work for his dad. Like, he's like, yeah, this is a little bit more than $25. And the Minecraft kid says to them, so my mom actually invested in my career. And they're like, bro, what are you talking about? And he's like, I explained to my mom that like, this could be a really lucrative career. He probably didn't say lucrative, but he's like, I can make a lot of money being a Minecraft gamer. And she was really excited about it. So she decided to get me all this stuff. And while that story sounded a little bit suspicious, Steve honestly didn't care because he like, hey bro, like his friend had some cool gaming stuff. Maybe he'd be better. Maybe he'd carry him a little bit harder, get his like Bed Wars stats up a little more. Steve didn't question it. And all of Steve's friends that were there, there as well also didn't question it. Real quick, uh, comment Minecraft down below. I'm going to try and heart as many comments that say Minecraft. Uh, I just want to heart, like, give you guys some hearts as, like, a thank you for watching. And the easiest way is if I filter it by a certain word. And also, while you're down there, if you haven't already, leave a like on the video. You'll get some good luck. Actually, you won't. You'll get nothing. I lied. Anyways, right, so, you know, Steve eventually gets his computer out. He gets it all set up. And, and, and everyone's set up at this point. They're all ready. And they log into Hypixel together. If you don't know, that's kind of like a server where they play this game together called Bed Wars. And they were planning on grinding out some Bed Wars together. Uh, they had, like, a strategy going and everything. And when the Minecraft kid logged on, before he used to be, like, an MVP, which basically was, like, a, it, it's a rank on Hypixel. You, you get, like cosmetic stuff it doesn't actually help you that much but when they logged on they noticed that you know this kid was like mvp plus plus which basically is like costs a lot of money and it's like costs money per month and they're like whoa like when did you get that and the minecraft kid was like this is part of my mom's investment in my career and anyways right as they were in the game they noticed like they were playing some like bed wars or whatever and they realized that the minecraft kid had all these new cosmetic items like and like all these stuff in bed wars and they're like wow man like how did you get all this stuff? Because you can get a lot of those stuff for free. But he basically said, part of my mom's investment in me was buying a lot of mystery boxes. And they were like, dang, bro, like those mystery boxes cost like a lot, like decent amount of money. And he's like, yeah, she really wanted me to have the best chance, which is kind of funny because the cosmetic items literally do nothing to help you. I think like the pig bed break or something can help you a little bit if you know how to use it. But other than that, they really don't help you at all. And anyways, right, they were just kind of like going about their day, but they all realized that the Minecraft kid had basically a much, a ton of money went into this setup and his account. Because they also played on like Lunar Client, which is a specific type of like, a specific client. It, 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 it's like, 
different from the Minecraft launcher, but it allows you to like do extra things as well. And they saw that he had all these like cosmetic items on, like he had a hat, he had like a cape or something. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is they, they saw that he had a much better gaming setup and he also had a ton of like in-game purchases. So they're having a pretty good time and everything seemed pretty normal. They were playing some Bed Wars, they were just grinding that out. Up until, right, they heard the Minecraft kid's mom scream his name. And I'm just going to say Ben for this because I need a name, but we're going to go back to calling the Minecraft kid the Minecraft kid after I call him Ben for this one little segment. So the Minecraft kid's mom was like, Ben, get down here. And the other kids, including Steve, realized this was pretty serious because probably the Minecraft kid's mom wouldn't have tried to embarrass him with his friends over unless it was a really, really big deal. Steve looked at the Minecraft kid's face, and the Minecraft kid's face went, like, white. Like, all the blood rushed out of it, because he knew that the gig was up, and he was in a ton of trouble. So, right, Steve doesn't, and his friends, they don't go downstairs. But, you know, I guess the walls are thin enough or it's just like it's easy and sound travels really well in the Minecraft kid's house. Because the Minecraft kid, like, like runs downstairs and Steve and his friends, they get up and they go, like, to the door to listen to hear what it is. And basically, right, the Minecraft kid's mom is like, like, Ben, or Minecraft kid, either one, right? She's like, Ben, why is there a $10,000 charge on my credit card? And they're all just like, oh, my God. Like, she didn't actually invest in his Minecraft career. I knew that sounded suspicious. He just stole the card and paid for it anyways. And she's like, Ben, what is this? And Ben tries to play it off. Like, Mom, I have no idea. You probably got hacked. And she, like, looks at the credit card statements and sees, like, because Ben didn't, like, transfer to, like, another account or something. He just made a bunch of purchases on, you know, with his mom's credit card. And she's like, really? Then why is it a, you know, a X... She three thousand dollar gaming laptop, a you know, a whatever. She starts going through the purchases, and then she starts running through the purchases made it, and she's like, "What is this Hypixel.net?" And then she's like, "Wait a minute, I remember you talking about that with your friends. That's like the gaming server you're on all the time. You did do this." And then all of a sudden, right, they hear like Ben is like crying a little bit. He's like, "I didn't mean to." And she's like, "What do you mean you didn't mean to?" Because like, bro, here's the thing. Yes, you did mean to. Like, maybe you're, like, you felt... You can feel bad about doing something, but, bro, you definitely did. Like, you can't say, I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, you took the card, you put it in, you saw it say, this costs $3,000, $4,000, and you said, okay, that sounds good. You knew what you were doing. You can still regret it, but you still knew what you were doing. So then they hear, like, his mom, like, talking to the Minecraft kid a little bit more, but she's talking in a lower voice than, like, the screaming voice, so they could no longer hear it. So they all kind of, like, press up to the door really closely to try and hear on what's going on. But, you know, all they hear is, like, Ben's footsteps walking back up the stairs. So they all, like, run away from the door, run back to their chairs, and pretend like they have no idea what's going on. So Ben walks in, his eyes are all red, he's obviously been crying a lot because his mom is really, really mad. And he's like, guys, I'm so sorry, you're gonna have to call your parents to pick you up. I, I can't have you guys over anymore, my mom is forcing you guys to leave. And they're like, oh... Okay, they're not going to ask what happened because they know exactly what happened and they're not trying to, like, make this situation worse. So, yeah, they all call up their parents and the parents are really, like, at first, like, Steve's mom is like, did you do something? He's like, no, it's not me. I'll explain later. I'm all good. I didn't do anything, but I need you to pick me up. Steve's mom was a little bit upset because she was had plans to go to, so she had to, like, call the people she had plans with to, like, push it back by an hour. And so eventually, right, parents are coming up and picking people up, and at this point, right, Steve and his friends are kind of hanging out together, but the Minecraft kid is not hanging out with them because he's having a long conversation with his mom. And when the Minecraft kid's dad gets back, he's having a long conversation with his dad and going over like probably, oh, how much of a refund can you get and how much work will he be doing this summer to make it up for them and how much will he be punished for this basically. And yeah, eventually Steve's mom comes, picks him up. He's in the car, and Steve's mom is, like, almost a little mad at him because she still thinks it's his fault. And Steve is like, all right, do I have a story to tell you? Subscribe if you haven't already, and now go watch another video. There's some on screen, some of the recommended. Go watch. I'll be happy. Bye.